Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a jitter effect in Adobe Animate. You've probably seen this uh, used in different cartoons, but my favorite example is Dr. Katz. And this is kind of a throwback here, so I might be showing my age. Hey, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Dad, that's a good line. Yeah. You should give that to Dr. Zilber. I don't write for other doctors. I picture him saying stuff like that. He is a, an alarmist. Yeah, well, their whole business, unlike my business, thrives on a certain sense of urgency. So we started off by creating a reference sheet that just has different expressions. I'll put a link to this file in the description in case you want to create your own. So I'm going to show you how to create this jitter effect using Adobe Animate Creative Cloud. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new document, file new. And I'm going to set this one up by using the square format. This is going to match my aspect ratio that I took for the photos. So we're going to create a square formatted document. And I'm going to lower the frame rate to 15 frames per second. And click Create. I'm going to now import my reference image to the stage. So File, Import to Stage. There it is. So I now have my reference image inside Adobe Animate. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off by choosing one of these images. Let's do one. Let's see, how am I feeling right now? Uh, not so much. Feeling happy. All right, so I'm going to position my reference image inside the stage. I'm going to lock that layer. I'm also going to rename it, to keep uh, myself organized. I'm going to create a new layer for my uh, artwork. So for this project, I'm going to be using my, my tablet here. This is the XP pen. This is just going to speed up my workflow quite a bit. All right, so I'm going to start off by using the brush tool here. This is the classic brush tool. You can change the size of the brush over here in the properties panel and the fill as well. I'm going to zoom in. Control plus sign allows you to zoom in. Control minus sign allows you to zoom out. And if I hold the space bar down, I get the hand tool. So these shortcuts are really going to come in handy when you start to get into your brush work. I approach this project in a less is more type of fashion. I don't use too many lines. Try to keep it pretty simple. And I'm just going to start to identify some of the major, major shapes here, the major elements. Okay, I finished tracing over my image. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select all those brush strokes. And I'm going to convert this to a symbol. So modify, convert to symbol. I'm going to call this happy. Make sure you choose graphic and hit OK. So now our brush strokes are now a symbol. What we're going to do next is going to double click to enter into the symbol. We are now inside the symbol we just made. I'm going to insert a keyframe by hitting F6. So 
So now we have two keyframes inside of our symbol. I'm going to delete the artwork off keyframe two. And I'm going to turn on the onion skin option. This is very important. So go ahead and click onion skin. What this allows you to do is it allows you to see a uh, sort of a less intense version of um, what's on the previous frame here. So we can use this as a reference. So I'm going to repeat that process of tracing and I'm just going to vary the um, line work slightly. Okay, so now we're going to trace over this image here on keyframe number two. And it's not going to be perfect. You know, we're not going to be able to replicate the first drawing perfectly. So it's naturally going to have that that jitter effect. But when you do this, you're going to want to make sure that there is, you know, some variation in your uh, artwork here. I now have my second keyframe tracing done. So I'm going to turn off onion skin. And we can sort of preview it here by just grabbing this little playhead and going back and forth. So this is the symbol that we made. It's a two frame animation. It's very simple. We're going to go back to the main timeline. OK, I'm back in my main timeline right now. I'm going to insert a frame on frame 15. The keyboard shortcut is F5. And there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.